Hey there, it's Josh. Welcome back to Let's Game It Out. We're playing Planet Coaster today. I've never played this game before. I have played a lot of Planet Zoo, and that game is great for, shall we say, dealing with animals. But my sense is that Planet Coaster has something that Planet Zoo doesn't, and that's more mayhem of the human variety. So buckle up, let's get started. We're gonna build our beautiful coaster right here in the city. Yes, game, thank you. Please serenade me with these city noises. Name your park. Coastway to the heaven zone. That'll do. Ah, uh, here we are outside the beautiful city. A bustling downtown with an aggressive amount of traffic. Well, I can see why you'd want to spend a day at the roller coaster park. Seems a tad stressful. Let's leave all that behind and go retreat to a theme park run by a maniac. Is this the entrance to my park? Some random bear cave? Where does this even lead? Oh, to a teleporter. I get it. You did use physical exertion, you just use magic. Okay, so again, I've played Planet Zoo, and all this stuff looks real similar. Even some of these items look the same from what I'm used to. Oh, this is different. Fireworks of all kinds. Like this one shaped like a skull. Well, now I gotta see what this looks like. <laughs> oh, well, that's just splendid. And of course, now we need to see what happens when we put a bunch of these down. Up you go, and oh yeah, that's great. Well, now we've gotta continue <laughs> with this glorious blanket of fireworks. Okay, go. Really? Just one? That's all you're gonna- Oh, my eyes! Ugh, oh, goodbye frame rate. That didn't take very long. Wonder how many of these you can add. Okay, so I added a few more. Okay, I added a lot more. I can't really tell you how many are there, because at a point the game just won't draw them anymore until you get closer. But if my count is accurate, there's something like 100 to 150,000 fireworks in here. So, uh, maybe consider averting your eyes. This might get really bright. Ah, uh, yeah, it's like a nuke's going off. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think this might actually be all we're gonna get. The game appears to be taking up 78% of my CPU and almost 38 gigs of RAM. In fact, I'm kind of surprised that it's still going at all. Oh, wait, there it goes. Okay, I think that might have been a little much. Let's not do that again. So let's move on and see what these other fireworks can do. And for that, first we're gonna build a little tower. Ah, beautiful. And we'll just load it up with some fireworks. Watch out, everybody. Something threatens our fair city. The threat of having too much fun. Look, I know tens of thousands was too many, but how am I supposed to not do this? Like, why have this in the game if not to fire it like a cannon? Ah, there we go. How festive, yet deadly. All right, let's see how this looks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Well, now that the city is on lockdown, I mean, it looks like besides fireworks, we also have electricity and water and pyrotechnics. Oh my god. Flamethrower? Okay, seriously. Who's building a park and using this responsibly? I'm gonna go with not many. I certainly won't be. Hey, you two, we're not open yet. I said we're not open yet. All right, suit yourself. Don't say I didn't warn you. What, you two made it through somehow? Oh, this won't do at all. I guess it's finally time to dive into the coaster part of Planet Coaster. This seems like the perfect time to test the thing I'm really wondering about. Human casualties. My goodness, there's so many to choose from. Come on, steal vengeance. Let's go do God's work. Seeing how this is a test, I really don't want to miss. We'll just go ahead and set this up right here, and we'll make sure the track goes down right into the soft part of their craniums, and then just kind of loop back up at the last minute. It's gonna be perfect. Okay, let's test it. You two buckle up. A magical journey is about to take place. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Really? Really? Are you people immune to everything? So be it. You got lucky this time. Maybe you can't hit people when the train is still on the tracks. So let's crank all the speed up to the highest it can go. And let's see how test number two goes. Dum dum dee dum. Oh, just here for a nice day at the- Oh no! Okay, this seems to have worked slightly better. Good, at least something will take these people out. I also love when the coaster carts pop out of existence There's collateral damage. Here, I'll leave you a little warning sign. Now you never need to wonder what you should do. No guesswork for Required. Okay, so as much as I'm enjoying the feather light touch of this particular coaster, I can't help but wonder if we can get a little more velocity going. So let's retire this reliable beast. Well, this sounds fun. Hydraulic launch. Let's go ahead and put it up here so the people don't even see it coming. Let's not go too wild, but we'll put it a little bit higher. Let's see. What is this? Launch system that propels trains at speed along the track. God, yes. Let's see. Target speed. Highest it can go. Acceleration. Fastest it can go. Uh, yes. Optional catwalk. The maintenance people are gonna need that when this thing goes at a perfect 90 degree angle. And down we go. Test one, let's do this. Definitely off to a good start. What with it being completely vertical and all. Hey buddy, have you thought about looking up? <laughs> Guess not. Okay, well this seems plenty effective. Yep, that'll do it. Well 
Well, this seems like it's been overall quite successful. Hey, wait a minute. This gives me an idea. Now, our guard tower here has admittedly limited range. You know, it can probably get more distance. Perhaps some manner of roller coaster placed really, 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 really high in the sky. Impossibly high, some would say. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna be good. Okay, let's see. Target speed, 100 miles an hour. Acceleration rate, all of it. And just like before, it's gonna be a steady ride all the way down. What could possibly go wrong? Buckle up or don't. I don't care. I know I sure would love to ride something on a 90 degree turn. Easy. Easy. Oh, just didn't clear it. That's okay. First time out, not bad. Let's try and extend this a little bit. Everything else the same except slightly more runway at the end. Test number two, don't let me down. <laughs> well, we lost one. And the others, well... Ugh, no closer. Okay, let's try a different coaster. Like the Flying Stingray. All because it has the word flying in it. Oh my god, look at this majesty. Okay, hopefully this will be different this time. It's only based on the idea that the track is on the underside. And with my zero understanding of physics, I think that'll mean it'll slingshot with much velocity. Have a good trip, my horizontal friends. Oh my god, this would just be barf central, wouldn't it? You don't even get to see anything cool. Like, you're steering away from the city. But you'll get the ultimate view now. Bye. Oh my god, this is feeling promising. We did it. Yeah. Finally, we've weaponized a roller coaster against a city. Well, that was fun. Where was I? Oh yeah. I forgot this is all still happening down here. Have you people just been getting terrorized this entire time? Do you need help getting off the lawn? Here, I think I know what I can use to help. And it's not gonna feel like overkill at all. Hey, you might want to turn around. There's some magic happening behind you any second now. <laughs> Wow, they just cease to exist. Hey kid, you might want to move. Oh, it just all happens so fast. I'm kind of curious now with all this velocity, if there's actually any rhyme or reason to how far people fly. But for a good test, I feel like we're going to need more people than this. So I guess that means we got to build some stuff to attract people. I know, build a theme park in a theme park game. I'm pretty freaked out too. Not a big one though. I just need a space for people to congregate. And if there's one thing I know people love, it's like gift shops and stuff. Cool, this pre-made thing will do. Yep, I see them too, buddy our first victims. Well, these stands don't appear to be very popular, but that's not stopping crowds from getting stuck trying to leave or enter. This is definitely more of what I wanted, so I think it's time for experiment number one. Come here, you. Test one. Ready to go. This guy up here has, like, the best job on the planet, doesn't he? He just knows what's gonna happen. <laughs> And they just fill in the gap like it never happened. Oh my god. They really go flying. I think this is better than I possibly could have hoped for. Just sprinkling bodies everywhere. Well, no sense in stopping there. Let's invite some friends along. I'm sure the public will appreciate this. I'll never get tired of this, especially the part where they just don't seem to see it coming. There's so many people out here with fresh bodies arriving all the time. God, there's so many people here. It's starting to look like an outdoor festival. It's a shame, though. After a certain amount of time, the game just resets them off the ground. So I wonder, is there a way to keep these people over here? Okay, let's do a test. If I build a nice, lovely stone column, will people be able to pass through it? Well, only one way to find out. Oh yes, they can impact with it, all right. Well, we know what we need to do now. Okay, there we go. My hideous, weird-looking rock wall. Well, let's see if the wall catches these people. Oh, God. <laughs> God, yes. It's like confetti, but it's bodies. Happy birthday to us. Okay, this is putting them in a somewhat more localized area. <laughs> but I don't don't know if this is actually helping. The area of impact is still <laughs> rather wide. What we need is a way to refine this, like a big rock off. If I duplicate this and then just kind of move it out, yeah, okay. Just kind of lightly put it at an incline. Should work as a really rough and uncomfortable people collector, right? Okay, let's collect some victims. I mean, people. Good, enough of them are bouncing. Okay, yeah, I think it's working. Oh, yeah, look, they're all sliding down there with all those broken bones and stuff. I'm just so pleased that my people trough is working. What must this journey look like? Let's see what it looks like from the perspective of, oh, this kid. Okay, I've got the camera on him right now. Let's restart time.
Well, you know, he's making this look kind of fun, especially the part where he impacts with the rock and probably breaks most of his bones on the way down. Uh, uh, and then surrounded by only strangers. Don't worry, this is your new family now. Okay, stage two, we gotta make sure these people don't vanish. And I think we can accomplish that by putting paths down. Okay, I don't know if this will do the job, but let's see. Okay, so it looks like they still feel lost or in the process of breaking all their bones. I'm gonna assume that it's because while they're on a path now, path isn't actually connected to anything. Okay, so let's test this. If I build a path out of here and all the way back to the beginning, but like if I connect it on the side before the pay thingy, are these people gonna try and sneak into the park? Nope, they seem to be pretty good about it. They're just spacing themselves out. Smart move. Meanwhile, back at this abomination. Oh, it looks like the... <laughs> is working. Looks like if people keep going, they'll get out of here safely. You know what, though? Let's not make it too easy for people. Let's at least make them work for it. So let's go ahead and take them underground. You know, just a little ways underground. And then back to the surface. The very normal surface. Okay, so you might be wondering, how is it that so many people are going in, and yet so few people seem to be emerging? Well, don't you worry, their journey isn't done yet. So first, everyone just goes straight down into the hole. And just like you'd want for your exit from a theme park, it's pitch black down here. Let's Let's install some lights. That's better. Yep, just walk towards the light, stay on the path, nothing bad's gonna happen to you. Oh wait, sorry, no, I got that confused. I meant there's something coming for you. I guess I forgot to mention these three roller coasters I have set up. But hey, some people make it through, and some people don't. Don't worry though, those people aren't dead. Actually, they're very much alive. But naturally, their journey continues on a different path. Starting with these mystical stairs. Okay, so here's what I've learned about people in this game. All these people keep going because they know eventually this path will take them back to the beginning. Which says to me, so long as this path takes them to the exit eventually, they will keep walking. But hey, let's test these limits it's more than getting hit by a roller coaster ever could. Give them something everybody enjoys. A lot of cardio. A whole hell of a lot of cardio. Okay, all you brave people. Three things I want you to consider while you walk up this stairway. One, there's no railings, so watch your step. Two, don't forget that this is still happening. And there's some people that are gonna clear that wall. So, uh, you know, maybe don't look to the right. And three, I've made a great discovery. It turns out you can have these TV screens. And you can even import your own graphics and videos. So I went ahead and made a couple of my own signs you know, to motivate people. So we'll go ahead and put this one right at the beginning. Not like there's this many steps, but you know, you gotta keep people motivated. And halfway up, you're probably feeling a little winded. So let's make sure your motivation is nice and high. Yes, hooray for cardio. And let's head up to our final sign that's way up at the top here. It's always important to do a wellness check from time to time. How many broken bones do I have? It's gonna be especially important as we go down this nice, lovely, uneventful catwalk. Hey, speaking of cats, why don't we put a roller coaster up here? One right out of my fever dream. Dreams. Hello, nightmares. Would you like to terrorize these people with me? Yeah, go get them. Yeah, this'll teach you. Come on, it's really your own fault if this thing gets you. Coming at you at point oh 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 one miles per hour. Oh my god, it's so scary looking. That said, a lot of people are still getting through, so I feel like we're gonna have to up the stakes a little bit. Boy, are you all in for a surprise. It's everyone's favorite, the log ride. There you go, head on down the river to collect your victims. I mean, really, the giant water slide should be kind of a dead giveaway for people. But hey, sometimes you're just too into the surroundings. But since a lot of you are still getting through, let's go ahead and set up coaster number three. Whatever the hell this is. I, for one, can't wait for this living nightmare to start moving. Hey, everybody, don't be alarmed. There's just a, uh, oh, oh my god. Oh my god, it just keeps coming. Wow, that's an aggressive roller coaster, isn't it? I'm just saying people probably want to move from that spot. I told you. Ah, my soft human body. Well, I think between these three, we've managed to make sure most people don't survive the catwalk. I've got some good news, though. These people aren't just falling to their death. Oh, they go somewhere very different. I've actually set up a nice little contraption to catch them. Don't worry, I'll I'll explain. First, we catch the people, and then they get strained through this slot, actually through multiple slots, before getting funneled down here. Then we just follow them down. Sure, we lose a couple, but most of them make it. Then they all get dumped down into this little compartment right here. It couldn't be more simple. Careful, protect your spine and vital organs. Now, you might be wondering, where is here exactly? Well, you see, I don't feel like they've been launched enough, so I've created a new delivery system, if you will. I figured, why not build them something special? Like firing them out of a giant shotgun. That's right, it's an old double barrel 
barrel. What's the matter? You haven't seen a double barrel shotgun roller coaster before? That's okay. I'm pretty sure these people haven't either. Who knew their fantastic journey would end here as ammo for this? And if you're wondering how this works, look no further than these two guys over here. First, these two launch at the same time, each one gathering speed and diving directly into the ground, at which point it literally goes into the earth, scoops up into the gun, and if all goes according to plan, something magical will happen. Meanwhile, while people are wandering down the tubes, they're basically putting themselves into position for these things to launch them as far as possible. And if all goes according to plan, we're gonna have a nice little shotgun baby. Okay, it looks like we got plenty of buckshot lined up. Excuse me, voluntary participants. Okay, let's give this a shot. Payload has been deployed. So far, so good. Well, that went better than expected. Honestly, my only complaint is it just flies off into the distance. All these people get to survive on nice, soft grass. So let's see if we can't do something about that. All right, here we go. I got just the thing. Look, I don't care how close we get it as long as someone goes in the hoop. <laughs> yeah, nothing but net. You know, I gotta say, I'm really pleased how this is all turning out. Okay, that's great. But for you people coming right out of the cannon, I got something else for you. Okay, where were we? Besides the frame rate being noticeably worse. Oh yeah, that's right. Nothing but pro shots over here. Luckily, though, now we have some plans for where these people go next. Down here into my beautiful volcano, where the brimstone is fresh and the frame rates are sparse. How's everyone dealing with this? You okay? Don't forget, if these people are here, that means that they've survived not one, not two, not three, but four catapultings. And now they have to deal with being in lava. And I had to deal with these frame rates. What I'm saying is these people have most definitely earned a way out. You see these? These two brave souls right here, they have found their way to the secret exit. There you go, families. Come on out of that hellscape and glitchy graphics and back into there you are. Look at you. And if they somehow find their way through these dark, dark corridors, believe it or not, there actually is a way out. And it actually takes you to the beginning of the park. Congratulations, you've actually earned your freedom. I mean, kinda. You do have to brave all the roller coasters again, but provided you can do that without getting hit, you can go home. Oh, too bad. Well, better luck next time. Who knows, maybe you'll get lucky this time. <laughs> yeah, just walk on top of that kid. And that's the circle of life for you. Well, I hope you had fun. I know I did. I give this game 206 out of 206 broken bones, as well as three subway cars waiting to ambush you in a dark passage, an honorable mention to cardio, and an A-plus for the game providing me with limitless ammunition. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.